is Colette and I am the kitchen master or manager. Hi, I'm Aaron and I am one of the baristas, team leaders and community volunteers here. Board in the City is a unique place where everybody is welcome and it's just a really nice atmosphere, really safe space to be in. Board in the City is a community interest cafe where we are not for profit in the corporation and we go around to various places taking board games with us, showing people the board games have changed, changing behaviours, getting people to socialise and generally opening people up to a new world, one that they may not have been to before. Originally I came to board because uh, I was just a customer, so I'd moved down from university, uh, to come to university and I liked board games and it seemed like a good place to go to. I don't know what initially drew me to gaming, it was just a group of friends and said hey this is a good idea. But what's kept it going is the continuing of making new friends and it's a bit of a stress reliever, you can have a rubbish day and just feel a bit better, forget about it, go into a different world. At the age of 13, my dad bought me for Christmas a board game called Talisman, which is a whole different uh, kind of, was a whole different experience entirely. Skip forward about uh, 12 years or so, and I'm, I started looking around to see if there was any clubs in Southampton that played games, and I happened to bomb Southampton on board, which is the, as far as I know, Southampton's biggest board gaming group and went along, that was, the first, that was after the snap at that point, and that was the first time that I'd gone out of the house and done anything social for about a year. The snap was, I can't give you the exact date because I don't 100% remember it entirely. I just remember I was working at another place and I was walking down the stairs one day to go to work and I just froze. I just froze there in spot and I couldn't move. I was just so, terrified and a long conversation with my family later on that was just like they realized that things were bad and I wasn't quite the same person after that. Before I came to board in the city I was quite low in mood um, feeling quite hopeless actually like I didn't have any reason to stay down here uh, might as well just pack up and go home. So I have um, a personality disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. So there's several different types of personality disorder. The type that I have a problem with is emotionally unstable personality disorder, which is kind of, as it says on the tin, it, I'm unsure of my emotions, I'm unsure what they mean, what I'm supposed to be feeling or not feeling and I don't know, always react to them in an appropriate way. It can mean that I can't leave the house because I'm worried about what other people might do to me. Um, it can affect relationships with friends and colleagues because of the personality disorder and not expressing how I'm feeling appropriately or reacting inappropriately to how somebody else is feeling. Whilst I was suffering, I did approach the university's support networks, however, they're not very good, not very good at all. Um, I, they weren't supportive in the slightest, so I had to rely on what I had here, what I'd built up here, but then I had to, that wasn't enough, it wasn't, I had to go home. Have you taken damage? Me, yeah. Yeah, you took two. You've gone six at the moment. Oh, it's okay, me. You took two from me. So the game I'm preparing for the event is Cash and Guns. Uh, the basic premise of it is you are a gang of bank robbers and you've successfully robbed a bank and now you've decided that you don't want to share the loot with your friends. So there's a bit of shenanigans go on in it. You might have a hold up and you're all fighting over who gets what loot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think on your feet. We're going. Duck down. 
I could just die and be out of this game and be all three of you issue and click. Yeah, if all three of these are bangs, then and, and you stay out. standing. I have no idea. Here we go. Three, out of it. two, one. The Godfather, the Godfather doesn't get scared. It's, I think he's more like he's guiding me. Guys, I'm still if, scared. If she is shot, does she then shoot me? That's five damage now. Eight, three, one. Go on. Oh, I was so close. You're a cunt. Sorry. I might just go for on the theme. Right, so this is a kind of, like, it's a very simple game in the fact that the board itself only has two spaces on it. How many games do you can you say where the board only has two spaces? Literally two spaces on the board. And what you do is you are rolling dice. You're just gonna pick up a handful of dice every turn, roll them, and punch each other until only one of you is left standing or one of you has got 20 points. Yeah. You are going to be keeping that one. It's way. looking good. Well, that's nice. Well, it's quite good. No, no. What's it do? Yeah, a point every time you don't attack someone. Oh, I like that. Right, here we go. So. I'm leaving. Yeah, You're that's dead. probably one. <laughs> You're dead. As well. You just leave. So I didn't I even get round to angle. Wait. Too. If I stay, I get two points, though, right? You do. The customers of Bullion City are unlike customers you get in a lot of places, whereas they are essentially extra family members. You take care of them like family members, you look after them like family members. Before I moved down here I had a new nobody and coming to board meant that I now had friends and even the people that I didn't know within the cafe were still friends because everybody is welcoming.